This video presents and shows how connection and configuration for the S-Home Daikin communication gateway are. The gateway has the following elements. Connector for the Airzone main controller. LED for indicating the communication with the Airzone main controller. Configuration microswitch. Connector for the Daikin AC unit. LED for indicating the communication with the AC unit and its remote controller. And status LED. This gateway has two connectors for the connection with the Airzone main controller and the Daikin AC unit. Connections and microswitch configuration must be done having both Airzone zoning system and AC unit not power supplied. For the connections, either Airzone cable or a two wire cable should be used. In any of those connections, be cautious not to leave any full contact or too much copper without protection. Ensure that wires are firmly fixed. The connector on the gateway for connecting the Airzone main controller is an aerial two pins connector. It is very important to respect the polarity of the connections. Bear in mind that this connection on the gateway side is accomplished with a two pins connector while on the Airzone main controller side it is accomplished with a four pins connector. Hence, two pins will be unconnected. The connector on the Airzone main controller is placed in the same position for any product from January 2012 and on. For the connection between the AC unit and the gateway there is another two pin connector also with polarity. On the side of the AC unit, both the remote controller of the AC unit and the communication gateway must be connected in parallel on terminals labeled P1 and P2, again respecting polarity. Once every connection is accomplished, Microswitch must be configured according to the type of installation, if there is a bypass or not, and the number of indoor unit fan speeds available. This configuration determines the information transmitted to the indoor unit and remote controller in order to optimize the installation performance. Once connections and Microswitch configuration is accomplished, power simultaneously zoning system and AC unit. The correct working of the gateway can be checked through the indication LEDs. Communication with main controller LEDs that should be blinking on any communication. Communication with the AC unit that should be blinking on any communication. Power supply LED that should be fixed at any time the gateway is power supplied. And activity LED that should be blinking any time the gateway is power supplied. In the case of having the communication gateway connected to an Airzone Flexa 2.0 or Easy Zone system, you can also configure the indoor unit fan speed selection map thanks to QAdapt function, so that the integration is best fitted to the real installation. For more information about this and other issues, visit our YouTube channel.